So we tried out ChatGPT Atlas. It was not all that good. I'm not gonna lie. It's ChatGPT in a browser where the entire browser experience revolves around ChatGPT and has access to your browser window. It's not really all that different from the app. And with the only added disadvantage, I would say, that of course, if it has access to everything in your browser window, then that is a humongous security concern. Like if you open up your emails, right, and you ask it to like look at an email, draft one, then that means that you're giving ChatGPT and OpenAI access to your personal information to train on. So I don't know why you do that. In logistics, I don't really see a use for it because in logistics we all work with like spreadsheets or you know various software integrations and we all have you know specific ways of handling workflows like PODs and Docker processing and everything in between. You wouldn't really use the ChatGPT browser for any reason because um, it's basically the ChatGPT experience. If AI doesn't understand your business, it's not really embedded into it, and you just sort of use it as a tack on as a browser, you're not really going to get much value uh, out of it. So I think for the companies who are going to be really successful, it's it's not it's not about just hey let's get everyone to use the GPT Atlas browser, but it's much more about hey how can we embed AI into workflows that are manual, perhaps somewhat dysfunctional and really uplift the productivity and increase like the, oper the operational leverage of our teams.